Today's candy spot, we're having a look at the robot candy. You can make them walk as indicated on the package there. However, it's not recommended for ages 0 to 3. Oh, geez. It also apparently does come with a plastic bank. So there's a whole lot going on here besides just candy. Of all places, I actually picked this up at the dollar store for $1.25. May contain nuts. Uh-oh. More sad news. Milk or eggs. So I don't really not understand what's going on here. Apparently, we got a candy, we got a robot, and we got a bank. So if you're happy with any one of those three, then maybe this is for you. There's a little bit of plastic wrap. So I'm going to bring in my knife here. Red. Old red. Nothing beats it. Nothing beats you, Red. You're a good knife. A knife to the end. It's like a good friend. It's always there for you. And uh, you can already see the slit at the top there where you can actually put your money into. It's not going to hold a lot of money, obviously, by how small the bank is. And I guess... Oh, and look at that. It's like a little egg. little egg shell. There's the candy. And there you have your little, ch little change bank. Put your coins in there. If you have a swear jar, you can put that into there too. You, should, you wouldn't be able to swear very much. You shouldn't really be swearing at all, but put little swear coins in there for every time you swear. So there you have the bank. We also have a robot. Again, I, there's three different things in this, none of which really all have anything to do with one another. Because you have a robot. Then you have candy. The candy doesn't really go with anything. I suppose you could put the candy in here, but you wouldn't get it out unless you open up the shell again. But it looks like you got some jelly beans. Well, this is a candy spot after all. Spot. You can't avoid eating the candy in this one. Let's open this up. I'm already eyeing that pink one right there because I got a feeling that's watermelon. And if that's wa watermelon, color me interested. Open this up. Little jelly beans. Little... Probably not jelly bellies, but little jelly beans. Let's give this a try. I'm going to give the pink one here a try. Tastes like really cheap candy, but it's like a, a strawberry. You ever have like some candies, especially strawberry candies, especially cheap, cheap candies, and they sometimes taste like soap? You're probably thinking, Spot, how would you even know what soap tastes like? That's kind of what these taste like. Really cheap, soap-tasting candies. Like, they taste like air fresheners. Again, how would you know anything about air fresheners? Don't ask. I, I honestly have no idea. I'm only guessing. I'm only guessing that's what they taste like. So, even though there's a candy spot, the candies are really disappointing. But, you do get yourself a little robot, though. And uh, he's neat looking. He is neat. He moves his head, and uh, I don't think it has anything to do with him walking. He's got some arms going on there. He's got himself a little jet pack. Is that a jet pack? It looks like it could be a jet pack. You can wind him up. I don't know how well he's going to walk on this set, though, but we'll wind him up, give him a try. His arms are loose. They don't really move. Maybe, again, everything moves once he starts walking. Oh, look at him go! Look at his little head. Oh, he's so cute! He's just walking to work. It's like, hey! Well, let's, before I start acting out a scene, I've got to get him wound up again. Like, hey, Bernie! You want to lift to work? No, nope, no. Nope. Wife told me I had to get into shape, so I'm walking to work. doop a doop a doop a doop <laughs> He's so cute. Look at him go! There were different varieties of robots to go with, but I decided to go with the one that had the blue and the white. It's somewhat ironic the fact that this is a candy spot and the candies are the least interesting aspect of this entire review. I'm really digging this robot. Like he's just kind of jab walking. You can't even see what I'm doing, but off camera, I'm kind of following what the robot's doing. Just kind of moving back and forth, moving my head back and forth. He's a happy little guy. Shame he's got to walk off all that weight though. Life never leaves him alone. But very, very cool. As for this bank, I really don't get this whole notion of the bank, but I guess when you're when you're done, you can put the robot in the bank, close it off. 
And there you have them. You can keep them sealed away until you want to see them perform again. Today's candy spot, though, we were looking at robot candy. They don't really have any connection with one another, but the candy was pretty disappointing. Robot, really cool. Thanks for watching, guys. See you next time.